Hello, 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 guys. So, the moment is finally here. The three legendary dragons from the Stronger Together event have now been given out to all players that spent at least 2,500 flowers in the event. So here we go. We have the Alone Dragon, the Carmine Dragon, and of course, a beautiful little Murano dragon as well to enjoy. So it says, because of your awesome participation, you earned these dragons. I love it. So, now that the Stronger Together event is over, you know, that does conclude the charity event as a whole. But, you know, just, you guys did absolutely amazing work with all of the donating and everything else, Sina. You know, I'm very grateful to every single penny that you donated to this cause. And if you want to find the dragons, then you can just go into your inventory and you will see all three of them there. So, I guess now the hardest choice is which ones are we going to actually hatch first? Because I already have a legendary in my hatchery at the moment. I think, you know, since it was the dragon on our island, I think we have to go ahead and hatch the Murano dragon. I think we just have to, just to keep in the spirit of everything. I mean, we've got tons and tons and tons of dragons that we have to hatch, but, you know... I, I, I do want to see these guys in game as soon as possible. So we'll go ahead, pop him in, and like all legendaries, he will take two days to finish hatching for me. So apart from that, we've also got a Taurus dragon in our hatchery because we bred three of them. So that's our second one. And uh, I guess now we just have to wait a couple of days until we can take a look at all of them. But we do also have another legendary sitting in the second breeding den. Uh, so, I, I, I don't know what to do. We just have legendaries everywhere. Left, right, and center. There's no, there's no way to avoid it. They're just everywhere. Like, I don't know. When the entire hatchery is just full of all of these dragons. It's tempting to almost want to upgrade it. But, I mean, that is a thousand gems worth. But, you know, even though that event is over now, we do have the new Easter events coming tomorrow. You know, the Great Expedition. We have the Pattaya Dragons event. And at the moment, we do have this uh, gem spending air quotes event on as well, but, you know, we're not really participating in that anyway. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I currently have a clan quest on to hatch two dragons with a rarity of uncommon or higher. I don't want to wait. This is the only time I'm ever going to do this. Never, never do this, by the way. Never, never skip hatchings like that. It's really bad to do that. Do what I say, not what I do. It's a typical form of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop the other dragon in as well. So yeah, there's no others I want. I'm going to pop the Carmine in as the second one that we're going to see as well. Because the Carmine, I've always liked it. You know, Murano has a special place in my heart because, you know, it was for our, us. I, I guess you can say for us. But then we have the Carmine dragon that I just like it because of the colours on it. So we'll pop him in as well. So that is a pretty disgusting looking hatchery. It's an OP looking hatchery right there. And people have been asking, am I planning on using the Murano dragon or any of the other legendaries on my team? Not really, because I mean, we're pretty much full up anyway with what we've already got. Like, we, we mostly need to focus on leveling up Saini, or enchanting him I should say. But apart from that, we're pretty set on our dragons. And if you're curious about how we're doing in the clan event on PC, you know, we don't have too many points. We're, we, we're, we're just about at the 3 million mark, and we're against a clan that has 4 million points. But apart from that, you know, we're in second place. We're about to hit that final milestone and get some cool dragon pieces. But at the minute, you can see I'm actually at the top of the clan for a change. How about that? How about that? You'll never see it again. Never see it ever again. I probably never will, but, you know. Considering the problems that happen during this clan event, I don't think too many clans are going to take everything all that seriously for this one. Like, it's just a bit buggy, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, kicking anyone out for not participating or anything like that, like some clans like to do. Because I would say give it a couple of iterations of the current... Sugar Rush event. See if the bugs can get destroyed before the next time it's released. And, you know, then if people don't participate then either, then that might be a good time to, you know, start kicking some people out if you want to keep the clan up and running. But, you know, 
In the meantime, we'd also have a couple of bundles that you may or may not be interested in. So in case you are, I'm going to show them to you now. First of all, we've got this one here for the Woolly Dragon. So there's the Woolly Dragon, some VIP tickets, some food, and that is a £13 bundle. A little bit on the steep side for a very basic epic, you know, like fire, plant, water. It's alright, but it's, its elements are very... You could breed another dragon like the Agave and do the same thing. And then we've got a boss dragon bundle for Oak Thorny, who is one of my... He's probably like my top three favourite boss dragons, but he is also in a £12 bundle. Um, I mean, it depends on how much value you put to boss dragons, but if you just bought him outright for gems, he would be much more expensive than this. So if you really want more boss dragons, and you are considering buying them at full price, you know, it's better that you buy it during the bundle right now. And then finally, we have one for the Archangel Dragon, so you can get him 250 gems, food, a habitat for £25. So, you know, this is the legendary bundle that's around about the £20 mark. The Archangel Dragon is not a dragon I ever really considered using on my main team, apart from for castle events. But you can see that at one point we did try and level him up. I mean, he's level 68 after all, but it's just... After that, level 100 came out and we had to stop upgrading it because that was way back in the days where level 80 was the max dragon level, I believe. So, whew, things are different these days. Very, very different indeed. I mean, you have to choose in DML whether you want to play the game really fast so that you can, you know, speed through the map and just get through everything as quickly as possible, or whether you want to play it as more of a collector. So I have to talk about this quite a lot, because this is one of the main things that people ask about a lot. It's like, should I level up one dragon, or should I level up a full team of dragons? The only thing that you really have to be aware of is that obviously feeding three dragons instead of just one dragon is going to be a lot more food cost intensive. It's going to cost you a lot more gold, it's going to cost you a lot more food, and your progress will be slower. Because it is much, much quicker to progress on the map by having one high level dragon. And then the further on the map you go, the more resources you get from every fight. So then, if you level up one dragon, you can start leveling up the other two faster as well. And it's really tough to decide which way you want to do it, because if you only level up one dragon, you can't do dungeon fights. If you only level up one dragon, you can't do many castle events and other special events that come out where you have to, you know, level up dragons to X level to complete them. So it's it's a tough choice. If you're someone that really, really only values the, you know, breeding, collecting aspect of the game, then keeping an evenly leveled team or a close to even team is normally better for you. But if you're someone that just wants to have, you know, level 100 dragons as fast as you possibly can, just use one dragon at your highest level and just steamroll through the map. But be aware that some of the events will be, you know, taken away from you as a result. I mean, this is just how the game is, is how it's always been. You just cannot have everything in the game when you're trying to level up. I mean, same as life, you can't have everything. If you, if you pour, I don't know, 20 hours a day into sewing, you're probably not going to be able to spend much more of your day doing anything else. It's just sort of the same thing with DML. You can't want to progress on the map as quickly as possible and still have every single dragon leveled up. You know, just you got to make some sacrifices. I mean, that's how we did it with Andy. We leveled up Andy first to, you know, as high as we could. We progressed on the new section of the map with him. And then, actually, between level 80 and level 100, it really did not take very long because of the map update. And the same thing can happen to anyone. Or you can do the same thing for anyone. It's just, you gotta do it in the right way. So, I know I'm gonna have to explain it again. I know someone else is gonna ask it again. But I will just say it again today. That that is the general gist of how things work. Sometimes, depending on where you are on the map, it might be different because, for example, you know, on the maps with how they work, you can hire your friend's dragons to help you 
all the way up to the mini boss fight. But then after that, you can't actually hire anybody's dragons. And then that's when it starts to become more of your own game. Because you can't just rely on your friends carrying you through all the fights then. So, if you use all of your friends' dragons to get you through the mini boss fight, for example, but then your dragons are nowhere near at the right level to be able to, you know, beat any of the other map fights on the divine map, well, you know, it, it becomes kind of tougher in a situation like that. And I have had that crop up a few times before, but... You know, even if that's the case, it's probably still going to be a better idea for you to use one dragon. This is all if you're trying to do it as fast as possible. Because what is one of the biggest problems with DML? Mainly how long everything takes to get, you know? Takes forever to farm enchantment materials, takes forever to breed stuff, you've got to wait two days for legendaries to hatch and things like that. So, anything that you could do to make your progress faster is n not the only way and not the best way to play by any stretch because you can play the game however however you want and the battling and leveling up is not the be all end all because you get people that say oh you're not using the right dragons that means you're not playing the game properly wow what a noob what a noob like i've seen it so many times i just don't get it it's like for a good portion of my own playtime in DML, I just wanted to breed dragons. I did not care less about doing the battles and doing the fights. All that I wanted to do was just keep improving on the collection. And that was it. That's just how I play the game. I'm not willing to spend, you know, massive wads of money to increase the collection. I'm someone, personally, that prefers, you know, to do it more for the free-to-play side for the most part, you know, excluding VIP and all the bonuses that we get for our VIP level and that, but, you know, I try to do it as fair as possible and as free as I could possibly do it at this point. But, you know, a lot of people just seem to think that if you're not willing to spend a whole lot of money, then you're not worthy of an opinion. And it's really weird. So that's why those three free legendary dragons that we got from the charity event just for taking part, you know, opening the game. You know, I think that's a really cool thing. Because especially people that are just getting into the game, they have three really decent dragons overall to be able to help them out early on. It will be a struggle unlocking their elements, like the, the final element which takes 99 gems to unlock. And it will be a struggle trying to get the enchantment materials and things like that because they are legendaries. But it's setting people up really early on to get a really solid team. Especially if you use the Murano because, you know, he's got plant and all that. I mean, imagine if someone had given out, like, a free fall dragon to everyone that didn't need to be bred or anything. That's essentially the sort of thing that we've been given with these sets of dragons, which I think is pretty good. Like, you didn't have to change anything else about the way you play the game if you wanted to get those free legendaries. So, I really appreciate it, and I hope that, uh, you know, all the new peeps that came in, or if you were someone that was trying your best to level up but didn't really have any good dragons, I hope you take advantage of it. And, um, I don't know. I don't know which one you're going to use, but, you know, I like plant... Personally, I've always liked Plant. I'll always like Shadow. This is where we wait. Will we ever get a free Legendary Shadow Dragon? I don't know, maybe. But I mean, we've never had this many free Legendaries given to us from an event before. So I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to add more stuff to my growing, but still robust collection of 400 and something dragons overall. So... You know, I think that is going to do us for now. So make sure you get logging into the game and claim your free dragons. And, uh, you know, we will hatch a low whenever we get the opportunity. I don't I don't know when we're going to have it. It's probably going to be at least two days from now, though. <laughs> but we'll see. So for now, thank you for joining me. Look forward to the Easter events. And until next time, we'll see you then.